all right hello guys welcome back to another video happy new year to everyone and guys this is a new year so i hope nobody falls for any scams or anything like that in the crypto market so remember that these videos are here to help you on your journey of i'm not sure if i should say financial freedom but on your journey of getting to know how to understand whether a token or coin is possibly a uh, a scam or not so you gotta at least watch my videos see how I investigate or research into these tokens um, before I even decide whether or not I'm gonna purchase them but even when you watch these videos there's still a whole bunch of other stuff that you need to do like going to their telegram and asking questions or going to their Twitter and asking questions and stuff there's a whole bunch of other stuff you guys can do to figure out whether or not these tokens are legit or not so always remember do your own research and we're gonna just jump right into it so today we're gonna just choose a token off the trending market or the trending section and we're just gonna choose this one let me zoom in we're gonna choose mars inu so we're gonna click on mars inu and i'm gonna zoom in again so you guys can see and here we can see it's at a price of 0 0.8 0 zeros then 2502 so it's at a very very low cost and here we see the website marsinu.com explorers community we're gonna click on community it's gonna bring us to their Twitter and here we can see that they have 2842 um, followers they have a small amount of followers since they joined in October 2021 let's see how active they are let me zoom in a little bit again all right so it says Pause, past audited by solid proof teach rate and soaking team and the liquidity is locked 100% we're gonna check this they said their liquidity is locked 100% we're gonna check that but this is a pin tweet from 20 uh, November 7 2021 and they're telling us to set a page of 15 to 16% uh, so they tweeted 13 hours ago I said Mars Inu dashboard will be available today. All right, so 13 hours ago. Thirteen hours ago. So guys, they're somewhat um active on Twitter. All right, let's see. Chat. So they're gonna bring us to their telegram. Uh, let's open their telegram in our um, desktop app and here it shows their telegram so they have let's click on this so Mars Inu so Mars Inu have 5219 members so that's not bad and let's see if anybody in here is complaining about not being able to sell this that's one of the things I do when I'm trying to um, research a token what I'll do is I'll go to their telegram and I'll start scrolling down through the messages just to see if anybody's complaining about being unable to sell because that's one of the first places you'll start seeing people start um, complaining so at this point I'm not seeing any but that's just one of the things I do so you guys can go through and any token you guys are trying to invest in go to their telegram start scrolling through the messages reading their messages read a couple of the messages and then you'll find out if people are complaining about the um being able to buy or sell all right so here's a whole bunch of people trying to buy they're saying set slippage to 15 to 17 percent all right so somebody said they can't buy but they're saying to set slippage to 15 all right so you just gotta come in or right, somebody complain about not being able to buy so just like i've been saying earlier just come into their telegram and check to see if their people are complaining about being able to buy or sell all right so let's go back 
All right, first things first, we're going to copy their contract address. Copy the contract address. And we're going to load their website. And here it is loading. So it says Mars Inu. And it shows that you're able, on the right hand side here, let me zoom in. On the right hand side here, it shows that you can buy on Mars Inu Swap, Pancake Swap, Indo X. I'm not, I don't know this one, but looks like they, they're available on Indo X. I know Hotbit, L Bank. So they're on a couple different exchanges. So that's really good for this token. And let's zoom back out and let's go to their About Us. So it says, um, they fear launch, so it looks like they launched on November 6, 2021. Mars Inu is a decentralized cryptocurrency token built on Binance Smart Chain Network. It was created with the community and investor in mind. Our goal is to provide generational wealth to all our loyal holders with a hyperdeflationary functionality and automatic staking to reward Mars Inu holders. All the while providing multiple real-world use cases to make Mars Inu a leader in the transition from fiat to crypto. Our mission is to partner with several payment processing leaders to allow the token to be used for everyday purchases, both online, online and offline. Next, we plan to individually partner with companies in the travel and credit industries to take Mars Inu abroad. And lastly, we plan to allow individuals to build personal credit by having a credit card with built-in rewards powered by Mars Inu. Well, that's they have um, a whole bunch of um, plans. That sounds good. Uh, I'll I'll give them that. And it says together we will make a successful decentralized cryptocurrency, and it's showing that they're on Hotbit, Indo, IndoX, L Bank, Crypto.com. All right, so they're on a whole bunch of different platforms, and they're on Coinbase also. So that's really, really good. All right, so and I know Tech Rate they audit and Solid Proof they audit, but I don't know how good um Soaking is. I've never seen Soaking's audited audits before. All right, so here they're showing that the liquidity is locked one hundred percent, and since they gave give they're giving us the um link right here, we're just gonna click on their Unicrypt link, open a new tab. And the new tab will be right here. So let me click on that. And here it is showing the lock. So it shows on Unicrypt the liquidity lock is 99.9%. It shows Mars Inu 816 WBNB. And it shows that the liquidity is locked for 10 months. So it will be unlocked in 10 months. So that will be unlocked on the 7th of November, 2022. All right, so that's looking really, really good. So they did say 100% locked. This is 99.9%. .9%, just to say, I think that's just as good as nine, um 100%. All right, so let's go back. Let's scroll down. Let's see. It says Mars Inu tokenomics. Or it says Mars Inu passive income. Let me scroll. Um, zoom in. It says Mars Inu daily passive income. Two percent of every buy and sell transaction fee is redistributed to loyal holders. Consider them treats. Or it says Mars Inu buyback and marketing and charity. Ten percent will be utilized for marketing partnerships with social media influencers and charities for our community's choice. Or it says, it says Mars Inu auto token burn. So it says one percent of every buy, sell, or transfer transaction fee is sent to a wallet that has no access key and is burned forever. This can assist the token price by reducing the number of circulating tokens, in turn increasing the value of your holdings. Alright, so that's 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 kind of what um almost 90 percent of the tokens do now. They have a burning mechanism to bring down the total supply of tokens. Alright, uh, so this is showing you the token info. You can read that. This is showing you how to um, buy the token. And here, this is the their roadmap. So their phase one, their phase two. So they completed every well, they almost completed everything in their phase one. 
So next they need to um, extend marketing plan and push and they need to get a market cap um, stably above um, 50 million and they need to um, they need to have their Marzinu dashboard. I think they said 13 hours ago that they're gonna have that. All right, so they're gonna have in their second um, second phase, they're gonna have their first vote to donate to charities, and they're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff to do in phase two, and then they're gonna have to do their phase three and phase four. All right, so that's all the information they gave us so far. So now it's time for us to start um, putting this. Um, let's open a new tab, and we're just gonna jump to Pool Coin. When Pool Coin opens, we're gonna paste the address we copied earlier. I'm not sure why they open. Oh, All right, so here it opens. We're gonna paste the address right there. There it is, Mars Inu, and we're gonna zoom in so you guys can see where I'm clicking. All right, so it says they have a market cap of 1.185 million, and it shows that they have 816 BNB in um, liquidity pool. But I think um, they. Um, what was the name of it again? Unicrypt said it was wrapped BNB, but here showing that they have BNB. But wrapped BNB is the has the same value of regular BNB. So it's 816 BNB in the liquidity pool, and that's $433,000, which is locked for 10 months. All right, let's click on holders. That's right here. We're going to click on holders, and it will show us. Who the top holders of this liquidity are but we already saw that 99.9% .9 is in Unicrypt so we should see Unicrypt here with 99.9% .9 and here we see it number one that's this one Unicrypt lock 99.99% .99%. alright so that's looking really really good alright let's close this one alright so this one let's click on um, the top holders let's see who the top holders in this um, token are so we click on Mars Inu tokens and here we will see that there's over 10,000 we'll click see right here let's zoom in we'll see that there's 10,143 holders in Mars Inu so that's a good amount of holders right now Alright, so the top holders, let's scroll down and here we will see that number one, the top holder and number two, PancakeSwap V2 Marzino 6, those two wallets are unaccessible by anyone. So those two can be considered, considered as locked wallets. Um, this first one is a dead wallet where tokens get sent to it and it has 50.78% of the token supply. So that's really, really good right there. And then the second one is... Uh, um, contract which is locked once you see this little anytime you come into um bsc scan checking on wallet addresses or holders as long as you see this little contract right here it means that the it's locked like this number two one is locked this wallet address is locked that's what that means right there anytime you see that little contract thing right there so the top holder in this wallet or this token would be number three OXA7 and they only have 2.37% of the token supply so that's really 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 good all right let's go see if the token if the contract has been renounced so we're gonna click on this one Mars Inu contract and we're gonna click on let's scroll up a little bit we're gonna click on this read contract and we're going to zoom in so you guys can see. And we're going to look for something that says owner. Owner, let me see. So here it is. Owner. We, this is owner OX6B3. So that means the ownership has not been renounced. And guys, please remember that when the ownership is not be, uh, has not been renounced, it can be both a good thing and a bad thing. It all comes down to what the owner or contract creator has in mind for the token. You will have some 
that will do everything that's good for the token while they still own it or you have some that do everything that's bad for the token while they still own it so when the contract ownership has not been renounced it can be a good thing or it cannot be it can be a bad thing so it's a 50 50 for when the ownership has not been renounced i kind of prefer when it's been renounced because that means if the token contract and everything the system of the token and everything is already set up almost perfectly then at least they cannot go in and change anything but you'll have some tokens that um the tokenomics weren't set up properly so the token owner can actually go in and change a couple things like bring the fees down or stuff like that to make the token a little bit more um quite um little little bit more valuable or easier to buy or easier to sell and stuff like that so we're gonna load up dex to dex.guru and you guys should start using this tool too to check on your tokens and stuff like that all right so let's paste the address up here so we're gonna paste and it says mars inu so we're gonna click on that and here um dex.guru is showing that mars inu they're only showing three hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars in the liquidity pool let's zoom in Mars Inu only showing $329,000 in the liquidity pool. That's right here. But we already saw that there is over $400,000. I'm not sure why Dex, Dex.Guru is only seeing $379,000. But here we can see on um, Dex.Guru, they show us everything in the pool, like the whole pool activity, like what's been removed, what's been added. So here it shows that three weeks ago, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, um, almost four hundred dollars was removed. Well, yes, four about four hundred dollars was removed. Two hundred and ninety-three, one hundred three, and nine dollars was removed three weeks ago. Then um, three weeks ago, thirty-eight dollars more, and then that thirty-eight dollars was added. And then four weeks ago, $1,500 was removed. I would like to know why these were removed. They were probably removed for marketing or whatever. I would like to know. So these are the questions that I would ask in their um, Telegram. All right. So if you want to just see liquidity that was added, you would click on the add section. And then you'll see all the liquidity that was added. So these are all the liquidity that was added. We can see that eight weeks ago, that's two months ago, 300 BNB, that's 300 BNB was added eight weeks ago. That's 181,000. And then eight weeks ago, also $30,152 was also added. And if you, if you want to see all the liquidity that was removed, you click on um, removes and you just go down and you'll see all the liquidity that was removed. So we can see five weeks ago, $6,816 was removed. And then seven weeks ago, thirteen hundred and twenty-three dollars was removed. All right, so let's zoom back out. We're gonna scroll over to this side, and we can see the um, trading history. So here it shows that the trading volume for each day is two two point one seven two million dollars. And we can see. Let's see if we see any sharks or whales. So here we can see there are a couple whales in this token. So whales probably know something about this token. We can see that um whales are let me hover over and here we just see a shark just bought five dollar 31 cents two hours ago all right here we can see a whale once you see this symbol beside um, a transaction you'll see that a whale is a heavy trader with five hundred thousand dollars plus that's over five hundred thousand dollars of trading volume in the last 30 days so this person right here has traded over five hundred thousand dollars in the last 30 days and these guys you only see, usually see these guys when they know something is up or they like the token that they're in or they like what the token has to offer and this was just three hours ago and if you scroll down, let's see if we see any more of them. And we don't see any more of them. And we see a couple tortoises right here. So this tortoise, when you see the symbol, it means that this person is a casual casual trader. And they trade roughly $10,000 to $100,000 in the last 30 days. So you just got to look out. And then three hours ago, we see one more tortoise. They bought $845. And... 
that's it so you guys can do more research into the these um addresses there's one way of finding out who's a tortoise or who is a turtle or um whale you can click on like in bsc scan when you see those addresses you can go into the specific addresses and follow the transactions of those um while it's around but that that usually takes a lot a lot of time but here we see um dex dex.guru gives you the um information of who's a whale who's a um shark or who's a tortoise without you having to do too much um background into information into each wallet all right so and this also shows who's able to buy who's able to sell so here we can see somebody sold 481 dollars three hours ago and we see this whale bought 689 dollars three hours ago so people are actually able to buy and sell all right the next um tool we're gonna load is um and i forgot to say that yes this token has has been on the rise for the last couple of hours so this token is really moving right now let's load up um b s check dot eu and we're gonna when this loads we're gonna load the we're gonna paste the address in here and we're gonna click check and when it loads you are we getting a warning all right so here we're going to scroll down. We see that they burned 50.72 address. That's that's the amount that we saw in their um, dead wallet. That's the amount of tokens we saw in their dead wallet. 50.72%. This tool is only re um, reporting 9,407 holders. So the holders, um, it's either the, one of these tools that I've used, one of them needs to be updated on the total amount of tokens. So it could be this or it could be um, pool coin. Here shows that the contract address has not been, the contract address has not, contract ownership has not been renounced where the owner is OX6P3. And we can see that the buy fee, the buy tax and sell tax are 13% and 12.9% um so they got a warning for that because these tools like when the buy tax and the sell taxes are both below um 10 percent but we can see in their telegram they were telling people to set the tax i think um from 15 to 16 percent all right so let's scroll down and here they get a liquidity pool check okay because they have 99.99 percent of the liquidity locked in unicrypt and we already found out that that was um worth over four hundred thousand dollars here we're seeing also here that the top holder in this um token um is 1.63 percent so that's really good for this token um i'm not gonna run this through any um too much more all right let's just run one more that i always use token sniffer let's just run it through token sniffer and see what we get what score we get they're probably gonna get um not a perfect score because of the buy fee and sell fee buy tax and sell tax so i'm not a robot well they didn't get too much of a bad score they got a 65 off of 100 and here they have the buy fee sell fee 13 13 percent and here they're saying that the um there's one thing bad about this token that they don't like and what i don't like either is the source does not contain a fee modifier and this is not true it does has a um, fee modifier so it says the source code contains a function which can modify the transaction fee and what this means is it could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing it's just that it's a risk because when i said earlier that when the contract ownership has not been renounced they have full um full access to change anything on the in the contract where they can actually go in and lower the sell tax or buy tax so people are able to get out easier or get in easier or if they have nefarious thoughts they can um put the buy tax and sell tax at 99 percent or 100 percent so 
nobody can sell or even if you sell you're not gonna get back the right amount of money that you should get and here they're showing that only 50.78 percent of the token supply was burnt here they're saying that they get good scores for the liquidity which is 812.87 bnb which is locked and um they get the good score for at least 99 95 percent of liquidity burnt or locked which that is 99.99 percent and here it shows that the owner creator wallet contains less than five percent of liquidity so the only thing really bad for this token that gave this token a really bad um score i think is this one right here the one that says source the source code contains a function which can modify the transaction fee which is a high um honeypot risk so guys just remember that you can always go out and do way more research into this token you can go to their telegram ask them questions like how you find this that their source code contain a fee modifier you can go to their telegram and ask them questions like that if they block you from the group for asking that question that would be a token that i would not invest in so a lot of people say oh you shouldn't be asking that question this and that and whatever and stuff like that well i want to know that anything that i buy if you're gonna block me from asking that question i'm not gonna trust that token or whatever because just look at it this way if you are going to buy um dinner at a restaurant and you order chicken if you ask them hey what type of oil did you use to fry the chicken and they're like oh get out get out would you trust that um restaurant that's that's the same way i look at um tokens or crypto if i ask you a question about anything and you decide you're gonna block me or not answer then i do not trust you i'll just leave and just um keep my money to myself all right guys so please go out do your own research and come to your own conclusions this is a new year we're only the third day into 2022 so i hope everybody watch my videos and learn as much as possible and make smarter decisions other than 2021 2021 was a really really bad year for a lot of people in crypto that were joining crypto um a lot of people got um taken advantage of and i'm just here to try and help um just a few that watch my videos and learn about how to do the small researches into tokens before they decide to invest and guys please remember one of the tips that i always give everyone is if you're gonna say you're gonna put two hundred dollars into a crypto um a crypto token a token you're planning on putting two hundred dollars into a token you're planning on investing two hundred dollars my suggestion was is to do all the research you just see me do go ask all those questions see if you get blocked or not or if they give you a good explanation and see if you trust the explanation they gave you and then do not put that 200 dollars in put 10 dollars in or 20 dollars in and buy buy 10 dollars worth or 20 dollars worth of the token and then try to sell it right away if you're able to sell it then okay good the um sell function is still active um you don't want to know that you go in with 200 dollars, try to sell it right away and you can test it with a small amount first you can even test it with five dollars three dollars two dollars especially if it's on the binance smart chain you can test it with three dollars four dollars five dollars try to sell it right away and see if you're able to sell that amount right away um never try to go in all in at in the first um, try try with a small amount see if you can get out and that's what I'm gonna leave you with um, today guys I think this is the my first video for 2022 happy new year and hope we all have luck this year um, leave a comment in the comment section if you haven't already like share or subscribe please remember to do so now i'm trying to get to a thousand um subscribers before the end of february so i'm giving my, myself two months to reach a thousand subscribers i'm currently over 700 trying to get um a little bit over 200 to get to that thousand subscriber mark 
um guys please if you want to join my telegram group it will be in the description just click on it and join the telegram group you can ask me any questions in there or ask anybody questions in there and everybody in there is helpful and will give you information that they have about um tokens that they've been invested in or tokens that they've been wronged on like they i've been i've been um, um rug pulled on a couple of the tokens before and that's why i decided to make this channel or create this channel to help people um or to stop people from getting rug pulled like i used to get back in the day so guys please like share and subscribe and if you have any requests for tokens just put it in the comment section and i'll try to do a video in it uh, as soon as possible have a nice day